Known as the home to the tallest trees in the world, Redwood National Park has fascinated me since I was a child. Not only does it have the tallest trees in the world, but it also has an amazing rugged coastline to explore and wild riverways as well. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we are sharing the things to know before you visit Redwood National Park. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at when to visit. Summer is high season in Redwood National Park, with most visitors heading here in June, July or August. The temperature is warm and because of the large size of the park, it rarely feels crowded. Although summer is a great time to visit, fall offers a milder temperature and is a beautiful time to visit the forest, but just remember to bring layers and a raincoat. So you might be asking, how long do you need to visit Redwood National Park? So you can actually drive through the park in around about 30 minutes if you stick to the 101. But if you drive the Avenue of the Giants, which is the most scenic route to take, it will take around two and a half hours, including time for a walk around the woods and a picnic stop. We recommend planning at least a full day to explore the park, with over 40 miles of coastline and 133,000 total acres, there is a lot to explore here. So where is this beautiful park we're talking about? The location of the Redwood National Park is in Northern California. It is around a six hour drive from the north of San Francisco. Most people choose to fly into San Fran and then drive, but you can also fly into Akata Yuoka Airport. This is a tiny airport, so expect expensive and sometimes unreliable flights, but if you are short on time, it is a good option. Now let's talk about fees. There is no entrance fee for Redwood National Park, but there is a $5 daily use fee for the nearby state parks. Also on your journey, make sure you go through the drive through Redwood trees. This means that you can actually drive through the trees themselves. There are three available along the Avenue of the Giants Highway. However, you are charged a small fee to drive through them. Now let's talk about staying at Redwood National Park. So you can camp here. There are four campgrounds within Prairie Creek Redwood State Park, but these must be reserved by phone or online at least 48 hours before. However, you can book up to six months in advance to avoid disappointment. We advise doing this if you are visiting in the high season. The standard camping fee is $35, but there are some basic cabins in the campgrounds which cost around $100 a night during the summer. Alternatively, you can stay near by booking a nearby hotel or lodge, such as the Holiday Inn Express, the Elk Meadow Cabins, or the Lost Whale Inn. Also, whilst you're in the park, there are some things that you can't miss out on. There are lots of amazing things to see and do in the National Park. Don't miss the Fern Canyon, the James Irvine Trail, and the Gold Bluff Beach. You can also spot wildlife such as the Roosevelt elk and the black-tailed deer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. It really helps this channel to grow. Take care guys and until next time, stay creative.